Maybe they were enchanted. I said no. Tony, don't you realize what I'm going through? My whole world has quite literally blown up. I just want to cheer you up, that's all. Hey, you want to curse me? No, 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 just kidding. I, don't, don't, don't curse me. Oh, Hunter, you here to yell at me too? Johnny Blaze and... They're accusing me of keeping secrets, as if that's the biggest problem we have right now. I don't know, maybe the demonic green sky over New York was too subtle for them to notice? I think they noticed. Well, it wasn't intentional. We were supposed to win in New York. We weren't supposed to lose the Sanctum, or Avengers Tower. Or Banner. I mean, call me crazy, but would sitting everyone down and telling them all about Blaze and the parchment really have made a difference? I understand why you did it. The fewer people who know about the parchment, the better. That's exactly right. When everyone operates on a need-to-know basis, they can focus. Is that how you are able to focus? Well, no. I need to know everything. Things are spiraling out of control, and right now, I just need to figure out what to do about this prophecy. You really think you can stop the Darkhold's prophecy by working in here? Well, I'm kind of known for making the impossible possible. Give me a couple hours and a decent lunch, maybe an Italian hoagie, and I can fix anything. Trust me. If you want to stop the prophecy over lunch, I think you will need a bigger lunch. Ah, uh, well, I need to be careful not to eat too much. Especially carbs. I just blow up and, uh, blow up. Huh. Please excuse me. I need to jot down some ideas. Are you making prophecies of your own? Shoo! Go! Go! Genie's at work! <sighs> Gotta get a sign. Good girl, Charlie. Come along, Charlie. We learn more with each encounter, Hunter. It was hard enough getting used to the Midnight Suns. Now we have doubled in size. You are one of the Midnight Suns. Now, yes, but not at the beginning. I was the strange woman who spoke to no one. It must be worse for you, Hunter. All the faces are new, except for Caretaker. The past hurts. I do not like to focus on it. I understand, Hunter. More than you know. I will tell you a secret. Do not laugh. I have a tiny envy for how you make friends so quickly. How so? It comes so easy to you. Even when you are a bat, you are a likable bat. You like my butt. Hunter, this, this right here, this is you being a bat. As long as I'm likable. Ha, <laughs> up for debate. Whatever you're doing, keep doing. Don't waste the time hiding in your room. I could have done anything else. I am growing to like you, Hunter. I wish I could have helped today, Hunter. You saved a lot of lives out there, Hunter.
Uh, hey, can I ask a favor? Thanks, Hunter. Morning, Blaze. Want to do some Spirit of Vengeance training in the yard? <sighs> oh, man. I sound so lame. <sighs> Freaking hopeless. From what I understand about Blaze, he is not one for brotherhood. Oh, hey! <laughs> I didn't know I had an audience for my little self-pep talk. Just trying to hype myself up. If we're gonna be working with Blaze, and he starts hanging out at the Abbey, and we're driving across the desert together killing demons, I need to be cool. I mean, he's the original spirit of vengeance, the real Ghost Rider. And I'm just... Robbie Reyes, from East LA. How the hell am I supposed to live up to that? You do not want to follow in Blaze's footsteps. He does not seem like a role model for anyone. Really? He's always seemed like the best to me. I think the wisest thing to do would be to chart our own path. Look at me. I'm standing here in the middle of this ancient abbey, surrounded by some of Earth's greatest heroes. And I still don't really feel like I belong. It's not like I got that special something you've got. I mean, look at you. You're not intimidated by anyone. How do you own that swagger? If you want the truth, I am still getting used to all of this. I do not think it ever quite becomes normal. If it's still weird for you, then I don't have much hope for me. Maybe just accept that being a hero will always feel a bit weird. It just comes so naturally to some people, like Cap and Marvel and Blade. Like they were born that way. It may seem that way to you, Robbie, but I assure you, they still struggle with their own identities, too. You are not alone, Robbie. We will do it together. Well, thanks for the heart-to-heart, -heart, or demon-to-demon, -demon. <laughs> or whatever. Y you've given me and Sparky a lot to digest. See you around, Hunter. You almost remind me of a different Johnny Blaze. Come on, Blaze. Show yourself. I'm running out of ideas. Don't worry. That much big asshole energy can't hide for long. You have more faith in our tech than I do. Less in the tech, more in you. Ah, oh, this is exactly what I needed. A chance to quiet my cluttered mind and just... be. What thoughts clutter your mind, Doctor? Ever since the Sanctum was lost, I felt a bit adrift. Lost in a cosmic sea in which I've lost my ability to navigate. 
I've been giving a lot of thought to the direction my life will take if we survive your mother's apocalypse, but who am I if I'm not Sorcerer Supreme? Sorcerer Supreme or not, you are still an Avenger. But is that all I am? All I want to be? Perhaps this is what you should meditate on. Yes, that's a bright idea. Thank you for still having faith in me, even when I've lost faith in myself. You are proving to be a most unexpected friend. If Hannibal could see this crazy hell up. How is the search for Blaze going? Nowhere. The dude has totally gone off grid. Oh, I've scoured every rat hole on the planet a guy like that would be seen in. Monster truck shows, stunt cycling extravaganzas, motocross events. But Blaze is totally MIA. I'm telling you, Hunter, if I have to spend one more hour scanning digital maps for that hot Cheeto, even my super sight is gonna go all squiggly. Maybe it is time to take a break from all this screen time. I'd love to, Hunter. But who's gonna look for bad boy Blaze while I'm resting my eyes? Why do you not ask Blade? He would be happy to help. I'm sure he would, but I'm the one who volunteered for Blaze Patrol. It'd be kind of a jerk move to push it off onto someone else, especially a friend. Besides, it would take up too much time to catch anyone else up on all the places Johnny Blaze is not. And time is one thing we do not have on our side. We have to get our hands on that parchment before your nightmare of a mother does. Well, I'd love to continue with the chit-chatting, but I've got to get back to the most boring manhunt in history. Do let me know when you find him. Don't worry. I'll be so freaking relieved and excited the whole Abbey will know. Come on, Blaze. Come out, come out, wherever you are. You can't hide for- <sighs> This isn't working. The map table? Should I get Tony? No, I mean... Midnight Suns, Avengers, and now X-Men. The Abbey. None of it's working. And I have no one to blame but myself. I have been saying that since you woke me up. Leave the crappy stand-up for Tony, kiddo. There are bigger issues. Three teams under the same roof, all fighting for different reasons. Nothing to bring us together. It's not too late to change that. If Agatha were here, she'd tell me... No, oh, it doesn't matter. She isn't here. Um, so... about Agatha... I know you miss her, kiddo. She used to keep us from butting heads as much as we do. No, I meant... Wait, I need to say this. I've been less than my best without her at my side. Especially to you. But this is the wrong time to talk about the past. About Agatha. All right. What now? I'm calling a meeting. When? Tonight. I'll spread the word. Find me after your mission. We can go there together. All right. I could not have predicted this outcome, but it is intriguing. We're not quite finished yet. What have you got for me, boss? Always up for a challenge.
Sometimes, I even impress myself. Fascinating. Allow us to assist you. All right, here's the plan. I'll hit this thing with the big hammer, and you transform it into something useful. That's all I can expect of your contribution, then? No materials analysis, no tactical projections, nothing? Nope. I'm feeling hands-on today. Just gonna hammer stuff and see how it goes. You do your thing, though. Ugh, this is why I despise group projects. much experience with smithing? Perhaps you should put your suit on for this. Where do you think I got? It's really not too bad, considering where it came from. I assume through some sort of elaborate computer-aided precision manufacturing process. Well, that's how it is now, sure, but the very first one I hammered out with my own two hands. Oh, well, that seems improbable. You're a wizard! Remind me not to ask you about anything ever. Another tool in our fight against Lilith. Always a pleasure. Ah, I see. This should be useful. I'm so proud of her. And you, of course. Don't pout.
All you have to do is take out that nest mother. Sounds simple enough, right? Trifling creature. Don't be swayed by her words. So be it. Miserable. That will not be. Hardly breaking a sweat. Should do the trick. The spirit rises. Let's try. 
a gift from your ancient traditions. Prepare yourselves. Defiler. That'll heal right up. The end begins. without me. to that face. None can escape. I will make you regret that. I like our chances.
haven't felt this good in years. This battle requires. So protect me. Want it done right? Gotta do it yourself. Not looking good for you. That's the spirit. We've done it. Excellent work. Kiddo, almost time for the meeting. I'm ready. All right, it's not far from here.
Hello, my dear. What are you doing here? Whenever Sarah was this nervous, I used to keep close. A look, a smile, a touch on the shoulder. It always helped. I can't do that now, of course, but death can't stop me from watching over her. Why would she be nervous? I don't know. I think I'll stay and find out. I dislike this. Such a charming location for... whatever is about to happen. What, no predictions? As I have mentioned on many occasions, often in your presence, I can no longer peer along the shaft of time's arrow, nor alter its arc. But if you could... What would you suggest I do? Waste my considerable talents on a glorified pep talk? I should think not. So you do know what she will say? I have my suspicions. Did she say what it's about? She didn't call this meeting lightly. Whatever this is, it's important. How do you know? Because I've called meetings like this before. You know how long this will take? I do not. Why? Robbie and I had plans. It's fine. We'll figure it out. Good thing you're fireproof. Uh, what? Big news, whatever it is. How can you tell? I've known Sarah long enough. After tonight, everything changes. I'm always wary of impromptu team meetings. Why? It's usually when people get fired. You have been fired? Well, me? No. But I've had to call those meetings, and they suck. And I'll speak. Short notice for a meeting. What do you think it is about? From the set of her jaw, some kind of reprimand. What a waste of my evening. You know what this is about? No, but it will be a waste, I am certain. Uh, any idea what this is about? Not really. I think she's gonna yell at somebody. Why do you say that? Hmm, just a feeling. This is odd, huh? The meeting? No, meeting out here. Why not the common room? Something's up. Nobody knows what this is about. Did she say something to you? Not really. Huh. Whatever it is, it can't be good. Good girl, Charlie. Everyone's here. I should begin. You sound like you are hesitating. That's because I am. I could use a moment to collect my thoughts. Take your time. I will catch up with the others. Thank you. It won't be long. All right. I'm ready. We are all ready to hear what you have to say. Time to tear off the bandage. Thank you all for coming. Truthfully, I wasn't sure everyone would. And that's why we're meeting. The Hunter and I are working to stop Lilith and her master, Cathan. I'm not certain about the rest of you. Uh, we're in this to the end. Are you? I see petty rivals more concerned with scoring points off one another than stopping the mother of demons. Whoa, well, there. If anyone isn't pulling their weight, it's the Midnight Suns. And if anyone's doing their own thing, it's the Avengers. 
and the ringleaders prove my point. But I speak only for myself, so I ask the hunter, who is responsible for the dysfunctional state in which we find ourselves? If anyone should be held responsible, it is me. Agree to disagree, boss. Can't believe I'm saying this, but Tony's right. And that's my new ringtone. Don't ruin the moment. It is true. I have not done enough for any team. If I am the one who brings people together to defeat Lilith, I have already failed. She will destroy everything you know, pollute all you love. In this, she and her followers are unified. To serve Lilith is to serve Cathan. If you don't pull the same direction, if you'd rather fight each other, we've already lost. Look, the Midnight Suns are unproven. I will grant that they have potential, but we can't trust an apocalyptic threat to the Halloween teens. Um, we're all in our 20s. Could have fooled me. See? The Avengers underestimate their allies. You think they'll do otherwise for the Mother of Demons? If they're in charge, we lose. You're both right. The only one who can lead us to victory is the Hunter. Huh. That's our Steve. What do you say, Hunter? Are you willing to lead us against your own mother? Only if everyone wants me to do it. I can only speak for myself, but you already convinced me. Just like that? It's a heavy responsibility. I wanted to hear you say you're willing to bear it. We're your team, Hunter. Tell us how you plan to lead us. We know our goal. Now we need to do the work. I plan to push everyone here to the limit. But no one has to do anything I will not do myself. Without trust and respect, we are no team. Highly inspirational, boss, but let's get down to vibranium tax. We're all equal here, and it's obvious my team is first among equals. Look, there's no question these kids have heart. We can't do any of this without them. But this isn't our first apocalypse, and experience beats heart any day of the week. Boss, I need to know where we stand on this. Tony, do you believe the world is truly in danger? Of course. And do you believe I can lead the team against this threat? Well, yeah then you and the rest of the Avengers need to trust me to do what is best for all of us. Um, not to interrupt this feel-good moment, but what about us? It's no secret we were sidelined when Tony and the others showed up. Caretaker built our team to face this threat, but we've been pushed aside. We... Uh, I need to know that ends here. There is no future where the Midnight Suns miss the fight. That's all we needed to hear. You need to hear more than that. So does everyone here. Nico, Blade, Ileana, and Robbie may have been here first. But now? We are all the Midnight Suns. When every one of us believes that, we will be ready to face my mother. That's enough for tonight. I want all of you to reflect on what we said. If you'll excuse me, I need a moment with the Hunter. So that's it. We did what we could. Let's hope it works.
I still do not see the point of all this. They're finally thinking of something other than themselves. That was the point. That is all I needed. Tonight, we pulled the plunger and set the ball rolling. The rest is gravity, and the occasional nudge. Is that a pinball reference? In the 70s, Agatha insisted I pick up a hobby. I won a few tournaments. Why do I know about pinball? Perhaps it's the universe telling you to challenge me when this is all done? Think I could take you? No. You drain faster than bathwater. should be like this one. Unpleasant? Contentious? I don't know if I agree with everything you said. Still, I'm glad you said it. What do you mean? This is the first time I've felt like I'm really part of a team. Not just Peter tagging along. I get it, we're in this together. But it's good to know that's how you see it. Get some rest, kid. Yeah, I guess I can follow you. For now. What are you saying exactly? Kid, don't lose my respect. It's the part of me that won't grow back. Did you plan this with... I get what Steve sees in you. Is that a compliment or an insult? Not with him, depends on the week. But for you, it's all compliment, boss. <laughs> Wouldn't you know it? Now you're the actual boss. And I called it, way before Steve did. I don't know how to feel about this. I'm happy for you, but I hope it isn't weird when we hang out. Why would it be weird? Huh. Good point. All right. Let's not make it weird. Ooh. Don't know about you guys, but that fired me up. Wait, you get excited when people yell at you? No. I could have brought popcorn. For the team? No, to watch you turn the Abbey upside down and shake it like tambourines. You were more entertaining than anything I could have done tonight. Next time, I'll bring popcorn. Not what I expected. Is that good or bad? Right now? <laughs> Feels good to me. I was never much for dancing. I had not predicted this. Really? No. Sarah spoke with me earlier. We have a long history of mutual advisement. What advice did you provide? About time. Which was a mistake. She thought I'd presented her with a temporal riddle, as I do on occasion. You certainly know how to speak your mind. You agreed with me. <laughs> of course not. But you stepped up, you laid it out, and now you're ready to walk straight into hell. Figure I'll be there when you do. Really? Yeah, you're the obvious target. So I'll slip past why they tear you limb from limb. Don't worry, we'll build you a bigger mausoleum. <laughs> Always the strategist. Still working out the kinks, but we'll get there. Don't know why I didn't see it. You're perfect for this. You did not see me as a leader? It never crossed my mind. Most leaders I've encountered in life have a sort of... professional ambition, for better or worse. Steve doesn't, but he's also called Captain America. The name alone carries rank and authority. So if I went by Private Hunter... Oh no, don't call yourself that. And I'm not explaining why. I didn't come here planning to put you on the spot, but... I 
That's how it turned out. You really think I can do this? I know you can do this. And you have a great team ready for you to lead them. So let's get started. Must not be her purview. Ah, Hunter. Good to see you. you have a lot of work ahead of you. I'll support you, Hunter, as I'm able. I should have told you about Agatha. Other too long for this. What, half a century? If you're round down, and I should have been there for you. Well, you're here now. Agatha would have loved what you did. <laughs> Can you picture her if I hadn't? That look of hers, <laughs> it could kill a whole city. I spent a millennia facing the greatest horrors known to the world, and the only thing I truly feared was disappointing her. If you did, I never knew it. And I'll bet neither did she. I hope everyone got the message loud and clear. This is why I prefer to operate solo. 